In this video we are going to create the template header which will include a logo and a menu button to trigger a fairly standard slide out mo mobile menu. To do that we need to create some panels that sit behind our viewport panel. Uh, this will hold our header and menu and also the content. Something else I'll also prepare you for at this point I'm going to describe a method that I consider best practice where as much as possible we try and create one object and adapt its design through the views. This can sometimes seem awkward when it may seem easier to just unplace a widget from one view and replace it with an entirely new widget in another view. But then this can be difficult to manage if and when you need to make updates. It could also prove difficult for others to work with your prototype. Okay, onwards. Open the viewport panel. We're going to create a dynamic panel for our header. Let's drag out a rectangle and resize it. This rectangle is the background for our header. Let's resize this for the base view. We'll name it as appropriate. Now we'll resize it as appropriate for each view. We'll resize the panel to cover the width of the medium view. And we'll do the same for the large view, extending the height to cover 100 pixels. We'll now convert this to a dynamic panel. And we'll give the panel a name, header. We are now going to add more features to the header. Double click it to open the header dynamic panel. Now in the base view we'll drag out an image which will be our logo. Let's insert a logo image that I created earlier. Let's give this image a name. Now the astute among you will notice that this logo file isn't sized correctly for this view. So what do we do? We simply resize it. This image is 360 pixels wide by 68 pixels high. We're going to resize it to half the height and half the width so it fits in our design. At coding time you'll also need to provide higher resolution images to your developers so your design renders correctly on higher resolution mobile devices. You could add an annotation to this effect if you want to. Going to the medium view, we'll see that the sizing has been inherited here. We just need to move it to the center of the header. Going back to the large view, we see that the modifications we have made to the base view have impacted this. So we need to resize and reposition again. So it's always best to work from the base view down through the inherited views or downstream if you like. The last thing that we need to do for our header is set page alignment because we want the two smaller views aligned to the left while the large view that we want to center as the viewport expands. We'll open the page where we find page properties. Page alignment is set to left for the base view. We'll check whether page alignment is set to the left for the medium view as well. And in the large view, we will set page alignment to center. I know what you want to see now. Let's press F5 to see our header in action. And there we have it, our viewport panel is left aligned in the smaller views and centering in the browser in the large view. Next we'll create the next we'll create the content. Next we'll create the content panel and set it up for the user to scroll through in each of the views.